what is going down youtube um welcome back to my video or to my channel so you want to be a tech huh yeah uh this is going to be an ongoing series uh a couple of couple of uh, videos i'm going to be making like a little mini series the things to take into consideration whenever you want to become tech for the newbies out there who want to become a tech um right now we're just going to talk about some of the uh, the things that might be involved whenever you decide to become a tech like some of the tools you might have to need um what's already obvious i'm pretty sure there's been a lot of a lot of uh technicians already talking about it um are going to be like your sockets screwdrivers wrenches ratchets uh extensions you know it'd be redundant to do another complete video just focus on that alone um the only thing that i will add especially if you're into the heavy duty side of things like i said from my experience if you're in the heavy duty side of things what i would suggest when you do get your sockets is rather than buying chrome sockets just go ahead and buy impact sockets whether they're 3 8 or 3 8 and half inch just go ahead and buy impact sockets um you're not there's not really going to be a lot of room for uh for chrome sockets in the heavy duty industry i mean there's very few applications where i've actually had to use a chrome socket um and i mean very rarely i, I think maybe one twice maybe at the max but i mean pretty much it's all just been impact sockets man they've, they've made they made do for what i needed you know what i'm saying so that's what i would say with that now that being said if you do get involved in the industry right you get your job you know what i'm saying your first job independent an independent shop took you on or maybe a a, a, a dealership took you on and they said all right you know you want to get your feet wet we're going to start you off at the bottom of the barrel man you know uh, with that being said, we're going to put you in a, you're going to be a PM tech, you know, sorry, kind of walking around and getting to know the truck and stuff like that. So, you know, you're going to be a PM tech, you know, to start off with. So with that being said, um, it's not actually a bad place to start, to be honest with you guys, man. Um, <laughs> trust me, man. I know a couple of cats who have messed up PMs badly, you know, um, that might be a story for a story time, story time uh, video. But, uh, yeah, man, um, jumping right into it. Here are going to be some of the tools that I think you might, you might need to pick up, uh, to be a PM tech. Um, first thing I would actually say to go ahead and pick up are going to be this handy tool right here. It's actually coming apart, but this right here, man, is a, a to remove, uh, filters, oil filters, fuel filters, uh, and <clears throat> Excuse me, man. Uh, this is actually a, from Lyle Tools. I'm trying to see if I can find the, the part number on here, but I can't. So, sorry about that. If I do find the part number, I'll probably end up putting it in the description, if I do. But, uh, yeah, man. Definitely, you could just look it up. And, uh, like I said, it's a Lyle, Lyle, Lyle Tools. This is the best, the best tool I've actually used to be able to take off filters. Um, I will say that I've heard people actually swear by this tool right here the 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 rat actually ratchet ratchet in on this side you know i tried it i bought it brand new same things from lao i bought it brand new i tried it once hated it maybe i didn't use it right i don't know there's really a, a big possibility that i didn't use it right but i tried using it got mad put it back in my box haven't used it ever since but this here is a lifesaver, man. Pretty much just put your, your ratchet right there. Maybe maybe a little three inch extension. And you pull on your ratchet, it does this, crimps down, and then you can loosen it up or tighten it up. Uh, it's also adjustable. Now, there are some cases where this one won't fit. The filter is too small. So with that being said, I would actually pick this one up as well for a little bit smaller filters. Now, just remember we work on uh, Cummins or yeah, Cummins and pack cars, Peterbilt and and uh, Kenworths. So, and this does have a part number right there. Also from Lyle. You might see it backwards because the way it's being recorded, but there you go. It is actually the size right there. I think it's like uh, 3.5 to 3. I think it's 875 so 3.9 inches. So three and a half to four inches um, for smaller smaller filters. This, this gets the job done really good <clears throat> these two sets right here for, for filters are really good man those are, those are really good um pretty much get get all your filters off when they come to like fuel filters and oil filters now 
when you're dealing with the a primary filter housing they you can either have the dabco or uh, i forgot the other brand that they call it but they sell special wrenches let me pull one out real quick that i have here They sell these wrenches. These are for the for the primary filter housing. I think it's the one that goes on the canister that actually goes on top rather than the bottom. It goes on top. So this is the Dabco one. You set this one in there. It locks into the little plastic cap, and then you can loosen it up. You know what I'm saying? Take out the filter, replace it, do what you got to do. Um, this is actually really good. But if you're not getting involved, if you're not getting into like the uh, Kenworth and Peterbilt's, you know, I would probably not really buy this. Although they do sell these wrenches for other brands or other 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 vehicles like uh, freight liners, freight shakers like we call them, Volvos, you know, so forth and so forth, right? Figure out which ones you need. If you want to go this route, this is the best way to actually go with, so that you won't actually crack that cap or the or the the or the, the, the the little round thing that goes on the bottom because it's like a little cap that goes on top and then the little black piece that tightens it up. Can't think of the name for the life of me, but you know, you might want to pick this one up or according to to where you're going to be working at but if you don't want to go that route what actually works for me has been this now not particularly this brand this is a tectum brand and i actually bought these i bought the whole about both sets hoping it was going to be the medium and the large kind of like the cornwall ones because i do have the cornwalls at home i mean at work and i bought these hoping that these would be similar to that they're not these are smaller so this right here is like the medium one and then the other one that i got which i was hoping was gonna be the medium was actually the small size so the small size is pretty much brand new i've never used it this one gets me by whenever i need it you know what i'm saying but it's not as much anyways if you can get the cornwall the cornwall will sell you like the medium size more or less about this size and the larger one that will get you by to, to be able to take off the caps on this primary filter housings and those do a really good job of it man you know, just pretty much just lay them on there, same thing. Just do it slowly, you know what I'm saying? Don't start yanking and you'll break the, 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 the filter housing cap, you know? But this is another good thing that'll get you by. Along with the, like I said, with your sockets, your wrenches, you know, same thing. Uh, one thing I would actually add, they have different, and you don't actually have to buy these. Well, this I would actually pick up for certain slack adjusters. It's a two piece slack adjuster uh to be able to, to, to adjust your brakes brake adjusters right so this is the two pieces comes this is on certain models on the on the slack adjuster you slip this one in and then this is to tighten and loosen up or whatever blah 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 you know what i'm saying these are these are lang brands lang again i don't have a part number but if i get a part number i'll put it in the description you know you can pick these up or the other ones that are actually really really uh famous i guess or commonly used rather or it's gonna be just like an 11 millimeter uh, wrench or socket with the ratchet, you know. Again, to adjust your brakes, you know. Because when you do PMs, you're gonna probably be doing a lot of uh, brake adjustments as well, clutch adjustments as well. So, and actually, you know what? Now that I mentioned clutch adjustment, I have a special tool for that. I don't, I don't know where it's at though. I'm not gonna start looking for it right now. Um, when you're also being involved with PMs, they'll probably start having you replace uh, brakes. This just pretty much comes with the territory as well. Uh, so with that being said, I would actually recommend picking up, and actually this tool, I know I, majority of the time I'll say, you know, you don't have to buy Snap-on, you don't have to buy Snap-on, but on this particular moment or uh, instance, I would say pick up Snap-on. It's not, it's expensive, but it's not extremely expensive, man. But that would be this right here for uh, for, for your, uh, your, your brake springs. Uh, just makes your life a whole lot easier, man. And here's the part number. I don't know if you can actually see it, just in case you're wondering about it. And it's backwards, like I said. But at least I can read it out loud. It is Bob. Uh, you know what? Bluetooth 518. That's the it's a Bluetooth, man. So it's a Bluetooth wrench that you don't even have to put it on there, man. Just own it and have it in your box. It'll take off the springs automatically and put them back on. You know what I'm saying? So. There you go. You don't, you know, just work without actually having to work, right? Just get it done. Joking, obviously. <clears throat> but no, man. This is a lifesaver, man. This is a lifesaver. I've done breaks before. I actually knew this tool existed, and I've always hated doing breaks because of it. I actually had a lot of issues doing breaks. When they put me on game, they drop game on me. And they told me, "Hey, man, you're messing up. Go ahead and pick yourself one of these tools." 
pick this one up. Have a lick back sense, man. It's a great, great tool to have to do breaks. So yeah, man, they're just some of the tools that I would say to, to pick up if you're gonna be starting off as a PM tech, you know? Like I said, it's gonna get you, you start getting the job done right. Uh, you don't necessarily have to go with main brand tools. Like I said, this is this is the Tekton brand. This one didn't work for me. And most likely will not work for you. I'm just gonna say that. But I'm not saying that you actually have to go and buy the Cornwell. You could purchase a Cornwell. You can probably look into maybe having, uh, I don't know what other brand, maybe Gearwrench has some, I'm not sure. Uh, I just know I have these and I have my Cornwell ones and the Cornwells work really good. Uh, maybe Lao Tools might have some, I'm not sure again. Might want to look into it, do your own research, you know, pick up some of these tools. Some of these, these tools aren't really that expensive, especially when you look like at Lyle Tools, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> I think like this right here, man, you can actually buy this off of the trucks. It's a Lyle, Lyle Tool brand, and I think I bought this one off of the Cornwall truck, if I'm not mistaken. And I think, don't quote me 100% on it, but I think it cost me like 25 bucks. So it's not extremely expensive, you know? And again, you buy them off of a, off of the, the, the tool truck, you know, you get that warranty with it, man, which is a beautiful thing as well. So um, another thing I would actually add on, not really with the PM, but because you can actually use this for a lot of things and, and you don't really use it on a PM. But when you start taking parts out, you know what I'm saying, uh, hoses uh, with fluid in them and stuff like that, especially if they have you doing like right now, one thing that we got that's going bad on a lot of these trucks unfortunately are the, the deaf quality sensors so and this actually makes your life a lot easier rather than spinning cooling everywhere you just clip off the the cooling lines man and i know and i'm saying this because a lot of people i haven't really heard this one being mentioned but this is a lifesaver man the coolant we're not really cooling but a, a, a hose clamp a hose clamping tool this is a lifesaver man now i will say this again going by the brands right i've had the experience to be able to use the Cornwell, and that's the part number right here on this one. And I actually have, only have one here at my house because I had the set and I think I left one on the truck somewhere. Yeah, I know it's stupid of me, right? And now it's, you know, it's gone. So, I, and I was using this and I wasn't actually too happy with them to be completely honest with you, man. They weren't really creeping down as good as I had wanted them to, you know? So when I bought my other set, I bought the blue, uh, I was gonna say blue tooth, I'm sorry, but the blue point. And the blue point actually work phenomenal. They work phenomenal, man. They crimp down, and they're actually the, the blue. The the blue point actually kind of like they're not really straight, but they're like at an angle right here. So you can actually put them at like at a, at a weird angle, and it'll help, man. Like I said, when you're doing the the, the dropping down the DPF or the def uh, the def tank to get the def quality sensor out, you know, clamp them, cramp them, or, or clamp them down, the hose down. You don't got to drain the coolant or anything like that. You don't have to put it spinning everywhere. Just makes your job a lot easier man and not just for coolant but uh you know not just for the for the for the def quality sensor the def tanks but you can actually go oh, uh, anything you can really think about that has coolant you know pitch it down you know disconnect it you don't actually gotta drain down the coolant on every single job you do you know makes your life a lot easier man especially when you start when they start putting you taking you from pm tech to now all right let's go ahead and replace this if you have this on hand already it's gonna make your life a lot easier um you can try this one out if you want the cornwell but in my personal experience, I would say just go ahead and buy the jump on the snap on truck, buy the blue point. Uh, again, there's other brands out there. I haven't tried them. I've only tried the cornrows and, and the blue points or the snap ons. So I just stick with the, with the blue points, man. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got for right now, man. I hope you guys are enjoying this little series. Um, there'll be more to come pretty soon. So, with that being said, you know, God bless each and every single one of you guys, man. Y'all stay safe, man. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.